aka Pam Marketing Nut, out on Twitter. That's P-A-M-M-K-T-G-N-U-T. All right, this is a quick video to just show you on the new Facebook timeline how you can now view your hidden uh, posts that are from other people. And I'll tell you, I think Facebook has made this as hard as they possibly can, buried it, buried it as deep as they possibly can, so we can't find it, but I'm gonna show you how you can find it. So, uh, what I just did was I just clicked on admin panel. Sorry, I moved kind of fast. And then I go to manage, so I'm gonna click manage, and then I wanna click use activity log, okay? I just wanna show you the spam accounts, so or the spam posts. So what I did is I just, went up here and I said I wanted to see spam. So now these are all of the posts that are from other people that have been put onto my wall that uh, are marked as spam. So uh, Facebook thinks they're spam. So I am just going to do a couple here real time and approve them so you can see it, see how it works. So right now here's one, this is from Skyview Projects. They provided a link to my one of my articles, this was the 15 uh, must know tips to rock your Facebook timeline business page. So they are an avid supporter and I don't know why, but Facebook always hides their posts. So sorry, Skyview, I'm going to unmark this one as spam. Um, go ahead and let it show. I thank them for sharing my content. Here is another one. Um, looks like uh, this is from Jensen's website um, websites. And same thing, shared the same post. You can see the content here. They're not trying to just spam their own business. They're actually sharing my content, saying great things. I'm gonna go ahead, unmark that one. Um, this is another one. This is from Marion Hoffman. And I did read this one earlier. This is a really nice note from her thanking me for um, just the information that I provide. You know, I you are so welcome, Marion. It's just, it's messages like that that just, uh, it's why I do what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and say unmark as spam. Go ahead and let that post to my wall. Uh, see how easy this is, folks? So here's another one. This is from Bernstein Media. I'll go ahead and click unmark as spam. I'll do this. Oh, look, it did my own. Um, oh, no, it, it, this looks like this one was from Social Media Today. So they tagged me in my article that got syndicated on Social Media Today. I'm going to go ahead and unmark it. That one is spam. Um, now here's one that is spam, okay? So this one says how to make money on every day online with JR uh, Blood Soap. So um, one of the most important findings of the decade is a three to one ratio, come see for yourself. So it may be a great ratio, but it does not belong on my page. He's, you know, doing nothing really, he's not using my page for anything except to link to his uh, Facebook page. So I went ahead and selected delete. It's saying, are you sure you want to delete this? I say, yes, I'm going to delete. If I had another issue with this person or if it was a continual spam issue, I could click delete and ban page. So that means they will not would not be able to post anything else to my page. Uh, here we have another one. I'm gonna go ahead and approve this one. Um, of course, so genius, I'm going to approve yours. There's another one. Here we have, uh, was tagged in J. Campbell social media's post. So this is an article published out on my friend, with my friends at Business to Community, B2C, um, Brian and Michael and those awesome folks. And then here we have Pivotal Business Services. Um, these are also some good friends of mine putting, uh, sharing content. So see, we want to, to let people, you know, my belief is that people are sharing our content, go ahead and let them poke. Um, I go ahead and let that stay on my page. I appreciate them sharing the content. All right, so there you go, folks. Now you know how you can um, check for hidden messages, hidden posts, actually, that people have posted, meaning to post it to your timeline, but they wind up in that hidden little folder as spam. So now you know how you can get those back on your timeline. You can also download a free template that I made for all of you from uh, my blog at pammarketingnut.com. You can download a free template in Adobe Illustrator format and Adobe Photoshop format. I created a template for you to create your cover image, um, which is this big image that you see right here. So that I will show you on a different video, but for now, you can at least go download that image template if you subscribe to our newsletter. So anyway, that's all I have for now. Signing off, I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you soon.